In this next example, I have a program here, Fix Pay with Call. Um, that is something that we've already done in a, in a previous video where we are counting the last row and from the second row to the last row um, we're looking if the values in column three are um, less than or equal to zero and then asking the user to input in this case a pay rate um, associated with the name and ID number um, for that row. So um, in this example I want to add some functionality to, to this by recording and then calling within the program the recorded code. Um, throughout the semester we've done a few examples of recordings for things like sorting or formatting, um, things that are pretty simple to do in um, Excel that we might um, record and then use in our program without having to learn how to do the uh, exact coding. Um, so let's begin Oh, let me, I'm going to clear the, the formatting first from my um, example. Okay, so I'm going to uh, go to developer and I'm going to record a macro. I'll call it um, highlight blanks. And I'm going to select the uh, data that I want to apply the conditional format. And I'm going to go to Home, Conditional Formatting, Highlight Cells, uh, Text that Contain, Blank. And I click OK. And it's selected um, the two cells that have blanks. And now I'm going to go to uh, Developer and stop the recording. And when I go over to my code, um, it's inserted a new module, module three, that has the uh, the recording. Um, one thing I'm going to do is expand the selection. So I highlighted cells two through eight, but um, in our spreadsheet we might have a larger number of rows. So I'm going to select apply the conditional format. Um, to go up to um, 9,999 rows, potentially. So now back in my um, original program, before they get into entering the, uh, the data, I'm just going to call highlight blanks. So now I'm just simply going to test it. Um, let me remove the conditional formats yet again to make sure that um, it's working. I'm going to clear my rules from the sheet. Uh, maybe I'll include one more blank. And now I'm going to run the program. I've already uh, created the button and assigned the macro. And you can see it highlighted uh, the three cells in advance of the entry. And of course once they're entered they become unhighlighted because it no longer meets the uh, conditional formatting criteria. Okay, so that's um, an example of a record and call.